Okay, so you just bought your brand new turbo diesel. And you're already bored. So you want a little more of that oomph. But where do you start when you mod a diesel? Don't worry, my fellow people. Let me show you the way of the coal rollers. I'm just joking. You, you don't need to make bundles of smoke when you drive a diesel. Um, you can make good power without all of the smoke. It's your choice. If you like the smoke, you can do that. But it's not necessary to make the good power. So today we're just going to look at mods to make a bit more of that power while not breaking the engine because we want the car to last ideally first on the list downpipes diesels boost very high so freeing up that back pressure is always a good idea especially if you buy a used diesel chances are the downpipes are clogged up and dirty which will cause the car to smell bad and hurt your performance so first chance you get throw some catalyst down downpipes on your car it's quite a cheap mod and it has a decent amount of power you can gain out of it plus you can sell your old cats and make a bit of your money back. Number two, software, and this one's gonna make the biggest difference. Like I said, diesels boost high, and if you throw a good tune in the car, it will make a stupid amount of torque. Most diesels will be able to get a good 100 to 150 newton meters out of just a good tune. That's more than some small cars, and you are adding that on top of your existing torque. And the ECU tune is normally quite inexpensive, especially for what you get. I mean, you'll get a, a more power, more torque, without even changing anything really on the car. And it normally costs like a few hundred bucks. It's really not that bad. But before I teach you further in the ways of the diesel modification peopleness, yes. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. Um, I'm just talking a bunch of crap. If you enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you don't enjoy it, let me know why. I want to know where I can improve. That's the only way I can know is by you guys letting me know, okay, your voice is annoying and then I'll like change the pitch or something. I don't know. Just let me know. Um, let's get back into the video. Next on the list, the EGR delete. While your tuner is busy with the software, ask him or her to do an EGR delete as well. The EGR helps with emissions, but it doesn't take long for it to get dirty. And when it gets dirty, it pushes all of that dirt and grime and, sh and stuff just back into your engine. This also causes extra carbon buildup which can lead to overheating and shutter valve jamming and in some cases it can even melt your intake manifold so it's always a good idea to remove and block your EGR and in countries where it's illegal to take the EGR physically off you can disable it through the software and then the physical spot will still be there but it won't be functioning fun functioning so it won't circulate all of that warm ga gases back through the engine okay next one after you did the EGR that's important an engine clean and maintenance as mentioned previously, the EGR can cause your engine to get dirty. So as soon as the EGR is removed, take your car for a good intake, shutter valve and valve cleanse. It will help with the longevity of your engine. And with all of that disgusting shit removed from your engine, it might even perform better. And if you don't believe me, this is how our old 120D engine looks. Look at all of that gunk and shit. It's just disgusting. Number 5. A proper intercooler. To get the most out of your turbo, you will need to upgrade the intercooler because cold air is more dense than warm air. So even if your tuner raises the boost pressure in the car and you still have a stock intercooler, you are causing a bottleneck. And I don't mean a bottleneck like a lot of air into a small hole. I mean, it's the same if you've got two bar pressure before the intercooler, you should still have two bar of boost pressure after it. The thing I'm saying is warm air is less dense, so there's less molecules your engine can used to burn up the fuel if there's more molecules of air then it's going to be more efficient at burning the fuel so you'll make more power so you want the air to be as cold as possible so you need to get a nice big intercooler that can drop your intake temperatures with a good 20 to 30 degrees which will in turn because of the more mo molecules and denser air give you more power more power equals more go fastness easy mathematical equation that Number six and the bonus one. This one is not really necessary, but hey, I'm still going to go it in there. Bonus upgrade. Do you love the sound of a jet? Would you like it if your car spooled so hard it sounded like a plane taking off? Upgrade your intake and your diesel will have the loudest turbo sounds in your neighborhood. Like seriously, have you heard a diesel with a cone filter? That shit's just crazy. It's a little obnoxious if I'm completely honest. You can take a car that sounded relatively tame and make it just loud and 
turbo-y is <laughs> the best way to describe it. Um, it's it's a bit much, but it does sound really impressive. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.